Hi everyone! So today I'm going to uh, try out something. I'm going to try out uh, a blue painting and I will do that in a flip cup fashion. Fashion. <laughs> flip cup technique. And I am going, since it's a large canvas, I'm going to pour my paint uh, in the order I want uh, in my cups and then use another canvas the same size to kind of sandwich the paint. Anyway, you'll see uh, and flip it that way. Um, and I also want to um, do a comparison because a friend of mine wants a painting and he got me this little black canvas to do it and I was interested because he wants a blue painting and I'm probably going to use similar colors for his painting and I wanted to compare how the, uh, how the colors would come, come out, um, like compare the white canvas to the black canvas, how the colors come out. And I mix my paints the usual way for this. Um, my white here, 40% paint to 60% medium and that's it. I want to keep it really dense and heavy so it really helps uh, creating cells. Uh, it has the most dense pigment, um, like paint has um, different pigments depending on the colors and those pigments are made from different things and those things, those minerals or chemicals, they have different densities and that's what I use to create the cells. I don't use any silicone or anything, I mix my paint just paint medium and water. The colors? Uh, yeah, no water in the white. The colors I use water in. And the reason for this is water has a lighter density than paint in um, all pigments. And it helps the paint uh, float up and wants to set up. While the dense paint will want to sink into it and help like push it up and uh, select pattern. And I'm going to use the flip cup technique. And uh, yeah. The, <laughs> the colors I mixed, um, about one part paint to ten part medium and then when that's mixed I add 15% water. Um, 10 to 15% water works. Uh, I like my paint to be a little bit on the thinner side than most people but if it's too thin for you, you can reduce a little bit the water and it should be fine. And yeah. Those are all uh, golden fluid acrylics. Um, they are heavily pigmented so you can really dilute them and you get bright colors anyway. So yeah, how about we get started with this? Enough talk. Well, it seems I forgot to press record. <laughs> Let's recap, shall we? Basically what I did is put a base of zinc white at the bottom. Zinc white is the densest as I said first and after that I put manganese blue hue because the manganese blue hue is a pigment mix and the pigment mix uh, has a zinc white in it and from my previous paintings and experiment it's quite heavy in density. Then I put the cobalt blue um, cobalt blue has a heavy pigment density. I should have probably put it uh, before the manganese blue, but I kind of forgot. And then I put teal. The teal uh, has a titanium white in it. Um, and from my previous painting too, I found out that the teal has a quite a heavy pigment density. And now, <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, but it's how it is. Sometimes I forget things. This is gold, bright gold. It has a medium pigment density. And after that, this is a primary cyan. And I want you to see something that I find quite interesting because I just realized <laughs> I mixed um, Tallow Blue, um, green shade, and I mixed 
primary cyan and they're quite similar and I looked at the pigment in this one and realized it's pigment mix and it's a phthalo blue with a little bit of titanium white probably so I'm gonna use this After that, the towel blue. I'm using a lot of it. it. Has a light density, and my friend likes it. <laughs> and I'm hoping the towel blue will sell up. And finally, a little bit of um, permanent violet dark. Not gonna put a lot in this one. This clip I filled a little bit more than the others. Permanent violet dark, uh, if I remember correctly, is a pigment mix as well, but quite light in density. Oh, that's the canvas I want to paint. And flip. Remove this one. And I left the wrapping on the other one, so it should be fine. And before, okay, fine. I'll cover my size real quick and give you a time lapse so you can see the cells and effects appear as they appear. I'll also use my hair dryer to pop the bubbles. I use it on low and low heat so I don't cook the paint, just pop the bubbles. Okay, I like that better. The gold will sell up with purple here, and I'll have some nice cells here. Paint will pull a little bit in the middle, but that's fine. So yeah, I'll remove my gloves so I stop dripping paint uh, on the canvas. Time lapse time. All right, so I have to say that I am uh, very happy with how this turned out. Um, I can't wait to see how it will dry. And I can't wait to try this on a dark canvas, see how the gold will come out on the dark canvas, see how all the blues will come out. And yeah, pretty happy that the gold sold up as well. Those gold cells will really, really pop and really contrast nicely with the the darker blues and the purple um, really nice I, I'm really 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 happy love the really um, cloudy effect is almost uh, in this part love all the cells in like and it's not all cells so that that's what I like. Uh, I like to have some cells but not like a canvas covered in it. I, I think it gives it a lot more uh, movement, a lot more and yeah a lot more 
um, personality, uh, a little something. I love, um, I really love this part and I hope it stays that way. Um, it should, should be leveled. The only thing that will probably happen is it will pull in the middle. I'm okay with that. It will pull a little bit, but should be fine. And yeah, can't wait to see how it will dry. The, the gold looks uh, quite dull right now, but trust me, it will really, really pop as it dries and as the medium uh, goes transparent, it will really let the gold shine through. And same for the rest of the colors. Some will dry much darker, some will really pop. And that's why I usually post pictures of the done painting and uh, outro. Uh, you'll get those uh, really soon. I'm a happy painter. And we're back. And once again, I'm sitting pretty far because uh, let's face it, this painting is larger than my table and it's dripping on the, um, well, I I've put uh, something there to prevent the dripping on the floor. So um, I just don't want to step in the paint. But uh, that being said, um, pretty happy I'm going for larger painting lately. Um, well, lately. Pretty happy I'm going for larger paintings. Basically, those circles, I really love them, and I think uh, the circle painting is uh, really original and can add uh, something to really any room it's in. And I'm really happy how the gold came out in this one, and I can't wait um, to see how it dries. <laughs> it will be a super impatient to see and yeah so that's about it for today i hope you enjoyed that video if you did uh, give it a thumbs up it helps me out and um since i took a long break uh, break <laughs> my bad i need all the help i can get <laughs> so yeah on that note um thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great day make sure to subscribe for more and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye!